recently on Squad Builder Showdown, I have discarded Team of the Year Icon Muller, 1.5 million coins. Future Stars Adeyemi, another 500k. Enzo Fernandez, who was 1.8 million, plus another 1.2 million stuff in that video. And Flashback Pogba. So today, we are finally actually going to win. And if I don't manage to beat Oaklefish, we may as well just put me down like a horse that's broke its leg in a race or something like that. I'm finished. I'm over. I'm done. Hey, listen, I'm looking forward to the challenge, mate. At this point, I honestly think there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to win. You say that. You do say that. I feel like it's just like when Arsenal played City, mate. I feel like this has come at the wrong time. I feel like I'm at my it's worst. It's not when Arsenal played City. It's when Everton played Leeds. In fact, no, it's when we played you, pretty much, actually. Um, I feel like this is going to be your the resurgence, mate. But... Equally, equally, I go into that as the Arsenal fan thinking we should, we should, we have, we have a chance. We have a chance, just that sadly we didn't win it. Did you see my tweet the other day? Looking for a guest to film Squabble the Showdown. Must oh, have yeah, a good camera see mic. I didn't see it because you, you didn't at me because you're an absolute fraud. You couldn't handle the smoke of a reply. You're an absolute be fraud. Be available bro. tomorrow. <laughs> Must be no better at FIFA than Oakle Fish. Ideally, never played a video game before and happy to just laugh at my jokes and let me win. And here he is. He has a good mic, he's available, he's no better at FIFA than himself, he's basically never played the video game before, and he's hopefully just going to laugh along at my jokes and let me win. I won't be laughing at any of your jokes, mate. And actually, I, I actually that's actually borderline slander that I've not played a video game. I have, you know, that I completed GTA San Andreas in record time. <laughs> Footy manager, completed it, mate. Mm, exactly. Shall we jump into some squabble of the show on an Oakley? I'm ready for it, mate. It's been a while. It's been a while. Joe, actually, I have won some Squabble of the Showdowns. It's just never on my channel. That changes today, hopefully. This is going to be so embarrassing when I lose. Oh, my God. What formation do you want, Oakley? Uh, I will go for the... 4-3-3 three, three second. Okay. Well, I put 4-4-2 four, four, because I hate playing against it. That's one of the things. I hate playing against it, but I can't use it. Can I change it? Or no, it's too late. Do you mean can you change it? Of course you can't change okay, it. Okay, all right, I'll stick with you this one. You said 4 three, 3 2 and I said you could have it, and you go, oh, he hasn't written 4 3 3 4. I'll have that then. No! <laughs> okay. No! It's not how it works. Oh, dearie me. We also should address the fact we're doing this on Europa League Road to the Final, Martinelli, who looks very, very, very good. And if Arsenal managed to go all the way, which I don't know if they're going to go all the way in the Cup and the Prem. So I'm not sure how likely it is that he's going to get too many upgrades, but it's possible. If you get five-star weak foot and five-star skills, that'll be insane. That is a very long way away, though. And in the meantime, I'm just going to tell you, Oakley, that I'm going to go for a flat 4-3-3. Very nice. You can have it, mate. I went for the 4-3-3 nice. fifth. Fifth? Yeah. All right, I'm a, I'm a, well, everything out the window, I'm 100% winning. This guy's got a clue. Are we going straight into striker and right wing? We can go straight into strike and right wing if you want, mate. If you're ready to lose them, let's get into it. All right, jumping into the first picks, then, Oaklefish. Mm -hmm. At striker, I'm going to have a man who goes by the name Pele. I ain't losing, Oakley. I refuse. I'm not losing. Very nice. I whipped this bad boy out against Jota. I feel like I've whipped him out against somebody else and lost. Yeah, I did. I played him against Tabor. I lost 6-1, I think. But somehow he survived. He's in he's indiscardable, mate. He just can't go. Jota's basically a professional FIFA player. Lot had five, six discards against Tabor. He's, he just doesn't get discarded. He's indiscardable. And he's gonna make me win. And then I'll have that road to the final, Lucas Mora. Well, you won't. Well, I will. You won't. You will have. You will not. I will. Protego? You will not. Protego, Oakley? What does that mean? It's Harry Potter for block. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, mate, I'm stupefying you. I am stupefying you, buddy. Uh, I had Richarlison and Lucas Mora written oh. down. Uh, so we can go ahead and give oh, you... I'm just going to add Varda Cadaver in my club. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give you... Uh, pre preference to be Brazilian goalkeeper, right? Doesn't matter, mate. I'll use leave Lucas in for Kem, and then you can give me whatever you want. Sure. Okay, mate. Cool. My turn, is it? Well, who do you, you want to give me? Come on. Oh, okay, fine. I'll just get, so any any goalkeeper, pretty much, right? Or right wing, if you want to save your trump card, if you're feeling jazzy. Uh, no, nah, I think a goal. I think a goalkeeper up there's got to be more detrimental to you than anything else, right? 
I'm, I'm assuming so. I'm, I, think, I think that's what would probably be what people would tell me to do. So I'll give you, let's give you Dabas. Still six foot. Could be more contrasting, to be honest with you, could it? <laughs> Pele and Dabas. Beautiful. Great. Good. Cool. Who would you want? I want R9. No, not R9. CR7, sorry. Getting very muddled up here today. I don't know. Is it, is <laughs> I it the almost had a heart attack, to be honest, if you're a call fish. Yeah, so going CR7 rule breakers. Jesus wept. Um, I kind of want that Lucas Mora card as well, but seeing as I don't know... I had it written down, obviously, but I'll give it a, I'll give it a spin, mate, and see if I can get him in there. You're actually winding me up. How? How? I thought it was so obvious that you wouldn't write it down. You've written it down, you've picked it, and I haven't wrote it down. How much is this CL7? Is he going to break my bank, is he? It's only like 700k. Say only, as if I don't discard 700k every episode. Don't worry, mate. You still got Pele. I do still have Pele, but you have Ronaldo and Lucas Moura, and I've got Dabas. And I've apparently got no FIFA ability anymore. Well, we're, all, we're both on the same level then, buddy. I'm just bleeding coins, Oakley. I don't worry. I've read the comments, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm well aware of what, of what the general consensus is against me, bro. I'm well aware. You were both on a, we're on an even playing field now, mate. You've got Damas leading the charge along with Pele. And Martinelli, to be fair, so he should be fine. Don't like this game. Should we get into the midfield? We should. Let's do that. Right, I need to sort this. If I discard Pele against you, Oakley, I'm going to start uploading The Sims. <laughs> oh, by the way, what what um what chemistry show would you recommend for Lucas Mora? Oh, what chemistry show would you recommend? Uh, glove. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, you can tell Oakley's feeling confident. A because he's built a good team already, put expensive players in, and B because I said, "Who do you want to do for your channel?" And he said, "Road to the final, Goretzka." He's one and a half mil. Bro, I'm here for the vibes, man. I'm here for the energy. I'm here for the dab-ass moments. That's a, that's a goal. That's that's a discard already for me. You'd be asking to do Tutor in previous <laughs> FIFAs. I'm sure Bro, people don't even know who that is. He's 20k and he plays... <laughs> for, is that Frankfurt? Yeah, he plays for Frankfurt. I feel attacked. What do you mean you feel attacked? <laughs> by, my, by, my, by my brazenness. You saying Aldo Goretzka is the biggest hit to my pride I've ever had. <laughs> oh, it's like being on the golf course and you're like, oh, I'm going to hit a six iron. I'm like, what, no, what are you hitting? Nine iron. Yeah. That's one of those. Are you ready for my players? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to faff about too much. Uh, I am scared. I feel like this is, the, this is a pivotal moment, obviously. It's right in the middle of the team. Um, I'm assuming I can buy this guy, but I'm going to go with Thiago as my right centre mid. Central defensive mid, I'm going to go with R R Ramsey. I think it is Ramsey, but I think he comes in as a CM. Do you have that card? Is it SBC? It's an objective. Oh, crud. See, I, see, I could have been nice there, Oakley, and I could have accepted your guess, and you would have to play 75. That's okay. That's okay. Ramsey, remember that when you're freeing it up and could score again. Oh, let, give me just a second, because I don't want to put in a player by accident. That's not going to work. Oh, for God's sake, they're all SBCs. All right, I'll move on to the next one. I'll go with Cancelo at left centre mid. Just go for any CDM. I'll go with N'Golo Kante. N'Golo Kante? Yeah. I put Fred, Fabio Vieira, and Douglas Luiz. Okay. I don't like this. You've wanted Jacob Ramsey, couldn't add him, so I've got, you know what? That sounds, I'll just pick a half a million coin Cancelo centre mid. That's all right. Yeah, no worries. When he's playing Andy, that's fine. Bro, I told you, I'm here for the vibe. This is a vibe check episode for me. Oh, dear. Is there a rule, by the way, with players that you can put, um, say, for, I know that this oops card is actually a centre mid, but say, for example, he could transfer from left back to centre mid. Is there a rule on how many of those you can use? Does that make sense? Like moving them from their like kind of their re renowned position to a position that you maybe don't realise that they play in. Oh, like a special position, Jace. Like a position you couldn't do on previous FIFA's. Yeah. yeah, you're allowed one of them. Only one. So this doesn't count as one of those, does it? No, he's a, just a centre mid. That can't sell a card. Do you want to know what I want? Yes, please. I would like Van der Beek. Big Don. Big Donny. Okay. Big Donny. Yeah. And not Donny Tex. I'd love to get Donny Tex to come play for me. Oh, mate. That guy, honestly, absolutely killed me. He absolutely killed me one of these. I've seen it. He's like, by the way, Oakley's the worst player I've ever seen. I was like, 
I, honestly, that was the 50 cent meme in, in actual life. I was like, what the fuck is he saying fuck me for? <laughs> that, that was honestly, I was literally, I was, I was driving back from somewhere. I was like, I literally, I was like, I got back to where I was in, where I was going to, my, my parking space parked up. I was like, what was that about? Like, literally, I don't think I've ever spoken to him. Absolutely catching straight. <laughs> Brutal. Actually hurt a little bit, to be honest with you. Oh dear. I'm just double checking. Am I doing the same? Okay, my team's ruined, okay. I thought he was an SBC. He's a, he's an objective. I will instead then pick the only other Dutch player in the Prem who can play centre mid. I've dare quite. Good. Yep. Yeah. Okay. In he goes. I'll have Frankie de Jong. Mm -hmm. And his World Cup path to glory. And then I'm going to get a little Brazilian link with new future stars, Vinicius Souza. Okay. <clears throat> Any damage? No, no damage at all, mate. None at all, other than to my FIFA knowledge prize because I thought that Van der Beek was an SBC. I wrote down Bruno, Fred, and Cancelo. Sister, okay, this is good knowledge. You seem to just be picking the same thing that you write down. Exactly. So if I just avoid what you've picked? By, by the same thing I write down, you mean one player in Cancelo, right? Oh yeah, I wrote Fred, that's where it's confused me. Oh, we both wrote Fred, okay. And Lucas Moura. But, I mean, that was just because if, if I'd gone first, it would have been fine, but... I don't know if you'd have picked him if, if I went first. This is interesting, mate. I, I don't think I've ever got to this stage with having a full team, but... I don't have a full team. No, I've got Pele and Koito clean. Oh, you can't do that, can you? Oh, we've had another one of these. I'm so st I'm properly living rent-free in my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest with you, I didn't even pick up on that. You could have got away with that. I could have got away with it, but then I would have crucified in the comment section. The, the, more so the fact that, that people, would have, people would have said, people would have said, I can see it now, mate. It, it, your names would have been in the headline saying, AJ3 has to cheat to beat Oaklefish. What has life come to? The, 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 honestly, bro, in years to come, it'll be like the beginning of the end for AJ3. Where did it all go wrong? <laughs> May 20th. It's not, not May, sorry. February 20th, 2023. There's not, not even a Dutch centre mid that I can pick. Just give me a bronze, Oakley. Just get, put me out of my misery, mate. Andy, what is going on here? You, you just, I think, I feel like you're just lulling me into a full sense of security here. I think I'm lulling myself into another million coin discard, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just give you, seeing as that mistake was quite mad, I'll give you Maddie, 62 rated. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah. I guess I could have, at this point, I probably should just pick the normal Van der Beek, shouldn't I? Right. He's in. At this point, I probably should have just gone, ah, oh, I can't use the moment Van Der Beek. I'll just have the normal Van Der Beek. And somehow we've gone from Van Der Beek, not normal Van Der Beek, to Coit, to Maddie. Good. Well, I guess I'll put Van Der Beek in for chemistry and play the game with Maddie. Let's just move on. Right. I feel like Squabble the Showdown should uncut, should make a comeback, but we should do it for the members, because my issue, I've talked about this on stream and stuff, and I'm going to very briefly talk about it now. Members only content is really good, and it's a very nice way for you guys to support the channel and stuff like that. But my issue with it is I don't want to paywall my content. So then I would, I don't want to take away content that would have, should have been free and put it behind a paywall, which is really annoying. So I used to record Squabble the Shadow on a cut, but it took the piss basically. And getting somebody else to do it for me, they had to do me a favor, because if they recorded the video themselves, that then became, that was a pair of Squabble the Showdowns where I just paywalled one. Does that make sense? Rather than just a one-off video. So I have to, anyway. What we should do, I think, is bring back Squabble the Showdown and cuts for the members to see some extra stuff. But basically just clips, VODs, 10-minute discussions from the stream that we have in between the sections that would never go in the video anyway. I think that's quite a good idea. Me and Oakley have just been ranting, basically, about liking food or not liking food and certain types of food. And I am absolutely 1 million percent. And Oakley's just given me a very good example from his girlfriend of some people just say they don't like a particular food group. And it honestly, like, how can you not like an entire group of food? Like, my sister doesn't like seafood. As if she just categorized everything that comes out the sea. She just doesn't like, even though it's all so different. Like, how can you not like prawns and cod and salmon and tuna and crab? And there's so many other ones. They also this okay, speak or something before I start ranting too much again. Yeah, I just like I'm just hoping that you've actually said this. You've had these these thoughts and opinions with your sister already, and she's not gonna hear about this indirectly. No, she gets it all the time. It's bloody stupid. because uh, that would be quite that'd be quite awkward at the dinner table. Every time we go out to something to eat, she gets chicken and chips. My missus absolutely uh, it wasn't until recently, we've been together about four years now. Didn't know. I had no idea. 
that she didn't like curry. Uh, not just like as in like traditional, what you, I guess you say, say traditional here, but like an Indian, you go for an Indian for a curry sort of thing. Uh, Thai curries, any, any type of curry off the menu. But then I was trying to work out what it was that she disliked. She very she likes stews, she likes spaghetti bolognese and all that stuff, which is quite saucy. It's a sauce of meat. Do you know what I mean? I know that obviously bolognese okay. isn't a curry, but... You, this is what I'm saying, right? How can you not like curry? I don't know, because I do, but that's, that's, that's yeah, it's, it's crazy. Like, if you said to me, I don't like vindaloo, or I don't like saguala, or I don't like korma, or I don't like rogan josh. Fair enough. That's I like a very... all curry. Every single well, curry uh, yeah. mate I like. It's just the fact that I I've got to be careful with it. Because if you if I plow through a korma, some serious calories. That that's very serious. <laughs> it's the coconut milk. I think that. Uh, yeah, I don't understand probably. how you could not like all of them when they're all so different. I don't know. I do not know. It's it's so so varied, so versatile, so much different stuff. You can get a saucy curry, you can get a nut saucy curry, you can get a top one, you can get a spicy one, you can get a cream one, you can get a rich one, you can get a tomato one. They, you've got to like one of them. You can't have your taste buds be built to just not like curry. That's not a thing. Do you know what else you're not going to like? Oh, you getting a full team and then beating me 4-0 or something, probably. That's exactly it, buddy. That's exactly it. Winds me up. It, it's got to be... And we have said this for the stream, so I can only apologise for the stream for the repeating it. But it's got to be like a psychological block, hasn't it? Well, no, you, you said this. I, I disagreed with it. No, yeah, this is, I am 100% on board with this. So, for, so I said, some people don't like meat. And you were like, vegetarians. I was like, no, vegetarians can like meat, but they just choose not to eat it, which I think is very good, very valid, very fair, really good for the environment, whatever. Some of them won't eat it because they don't like it because they're like repulsed by the idea of eating an animal. But that's not because it tastes bad or has a bad texture or anything like that. That's the psychological thing that they don't like eating it. So some guy in my chat said he doesn't like potatoes. How can you not like potatoes? How can you not like crisps, chips, hash browns, roasties, mash? They're all so different. You've got a psychological block where your brain just goes, don't like potatoes. How can you eat them? They're nice. You're like one of them. A pack of salt and vinegar is so different from a roasty, from mash. Oh my God, I want to smash my balls on me. Yeah, pick a player, Oakley. I don't know why I'm so passionate about this, but I don't know. Just tell me some players. Fingers because my sister winds me up when we go for something to eat. She's like, oh, I can't eat anything off this menu. There's a really nice fish dish there. Just order and eat it, you weirdo. Go on. Sorry. Shame is common. Oh, come on, Oakley. And um, we'll go with Robertson. Doing scrub of the show down against Tarni, except he's actually going to win this time. Who did you put down? Menzi and Carvajal. Fair enough. <laughs> this video's winding me up. I'm fully inside. I'm so rattled, Oakley. I've got Davas and Maddie. I've got Maddie by accident. I'm ranting about my sister's <laughs> food choices. <laughs> I'm going to go at left back for new road to the final, Miranda. Mm hmm. Who looks pretty good, actually, to be fair. Very good. Some nice new options at fullback. Really good, everything apart from shooting, to be honest. So when he gets upgrades, a bit delightful. And on the opposite side, I'm going to use my special position change to use as pillar Quater. Nice, mate. Very nice. Uh, yeah, looked at that Miranda. Didn't put him down though. So nice. that's all yours. Uh, I had Malassia and Kunde written down. Okay, nice. I was going to go Kunde. Bait and raves about him, but I just thought it was a bit bait. It is very bait, isn't it? But I figured the amount of times that you say, oh, that player seemed too bait, but they still pick him. Well, I tried that at Lucas, didn't I? And I lost him. So we're not doing that again. <laughs> oh, don't tell me Mr. Robertson isn't actually purchasable. Or is he? He is purchasable. He's just very expensive. Jesus wept and Mary Christ. So he you is. You are going all out, aren't you? I am, mate. Christ. 400k on a fullback from Oakle Fish. My, uh, <laughs> my pride just keeps taking a beating. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it gives you any solace, man, I wasn't aware that it was going to cost this much, so. Oh, dear. Should we jump into the two centre backs in goalie? Yeah, why not? Right then. I need, I'm 2 0 down already. Bro, listen, mate. Your 2 0 down is irrelevant. I'm about to pull out a Nathan Jones quote soon enough, brother. I'm about to be saying the amount of bronzes is irrelevant. It actually makes it harder for me to win. <laughs> it makes it harder, bro. Did you see that guy's wild? Did you see he played 10 minutes for like a Sunday league team in Devon or like a semi-pro team in Devon at the weekend? Played for 10 minutes, assisted the goal and then went off injured. <laughs> He's absolutely bonkers. I wonder what his payout was from say, Southampton. Oh, it's got to be an absolute wedge, on it? It's got to be a few mils, surely. It's early, right. How has he scammed them into doing that? 
and he's just like doing interviews talking about how he could have married a lovely Welsh lady but he <laughs> yeah, wanted to he decided to strive for the, he wanted to reach for glory strive for the best <laughs> oh god and then he's quickly but not that the Welsh ladies aren't lovely by the way proper gack tracking anyway who do you want Oakley it's your turn to go first okay I don't know who I want though is the problem I need one Prem player and two La Liga players. I'm going to go Oakley for the main man himself, team of the near cooler Barley. Yeah. I'm going to then, for my two La Liga players, I'm just going to pick two players from the same club because that should, as far as I know, as far as my terrible squad building's been going, get me full chemistry. All from the same nation? El Yamik. I'm... Bono. That works. I'll have that. Oh, wait. So, hold on. D Bono and who? Oh, you mean. So, because my thing's showing up here, the Kula is not on camp. Did you have, do you not have Maddie in yet already? No, for the chemistry purposes, it's Lucas Mora and Van Der Beek. Oh, that's a shame. That's a real shame then. You can have all of them, mate, because I had Maddie in on the team. So, that's a shame. Never mind. Never mind. I guess it balances itself out then because... You shouldn't really have had him in, should you, to be totally honest? I should have just had normal Van Der Beek, really, if I wasn't yeah, stupid. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I am stupid, so it's my own fault. Yeah, fair enough. I did actually have two La Liga players down anyway, PK and Hermoso and De Gea, cause I, but that, the reason for which is the fact I thought you were pretty much okay, pigeonholed. Sure. So it is what it is, mate. Fair enough. You ready for mine? I am very ready. Let's go for a little bit of a hero. Okay. I'm going to go Ledley King. Oh, you're joking me. Um, who's going to lead us over to... This is very scary now. But despite the fact that it's like... Oh, let's go, I'm going to frame team. Uh, we'll go for Fana. Yeah. Um, now, goalkeeper. This is the real do or die moment to dare. Actually, I'm not going to say that because I don't want to give, give wrong vibes. Yeah, it's laughing. Um, any goalkeeper from the Prem, but we're probably going to pick the wrong one. Who's Andy not got on that whiteboard? God, I just don't know. Um, right, Martinez, I think you might bring down. Butland, I think you might bring down. Navas is new, so it could be quite tempting. Do I go further down the list? Do I go for Mendy? Do I go for a bit of Ward? I think we do go for a little bit of Mendy. Mendy? Yeah. <laughs> Oakley, oh, Oakley, wow. Oakley. I wrote Yashin because I've had literally anyone. Okay. I wrote Badashile. Yeah. When you picked Fafana. And then I didn't write Leather King. I wrote Saliba. Oh, okay. So we get all of them. Full team you've got. I thought, mate, honestly, to, to be genuinely, I really thought you were going to have me there. I thought it's, it's one of those things, like how lucky can I actually get in this episode, which is which is worrying really going into the game because now I've lost all confidence. I do actually feel like an attack. What a hybrid, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, bro, you don't, listen, I've, I've not been on in for months. So if I'm coming on, I'm coming on to flip and try to win. You put Pele in your squad, bro. Don't <laughs> act like you, don't act, don't act like you were trying, you, you would be dropping him in if you weren't expecting to win. So no, I'm not having that. Should we get into a game? Okay. I'm going full sweat mode, Oakley. Good luck, man. Oh, sugar. No, 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 no. Come on, Maddie. <sighs> oh my God. He's rage quitting. <laughs> Come on, you gotta at least score an own goal before you rage quit, Oakley, so I get the win. <laughs> Shut up. Oh my god, man's in travellers and everything. Okay, this is war, Oakley. Oh no, 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 no. Why did it auto switch me? Come on, shoot! Let's go. Oh, nut makes me. He's makes me and he's quick. Come on, Pele. Oh no. What's he doing? Why would he not shoot? This is it. Come on. Oh my. Maddie. Maddie puts his body on the line, mate. Again, man, <sighs> passing has been poor from me here. Yeah, really poor. I've seen you come back from worse than this, Andy. Don't know, mate. I'm thinking about just downloading The Sims, to be honest with you. <laughs> I've seen you come back from far worse than this. Oh, my God. Hit it. <sighs> if Oakland could finish, I would be finished. No! No, yes! that is... Yes! 
such a load of rubbish. Hit him with it. And you're gritty in it. You're a scumbag. <laughs> you're an absolute scumbag. No! You have to be joking me. I should have greened it. Oh, I've messed this switch up. <gasps> Please! Oh my yes. god. Yes, El Yamik. <sighs> yes, El Yamik! Belly! Come on! Ay, 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 ay. Oh my, Andy, you're a scumbag, bro. That's actually disgraceful from you, you know, by the way. Oh my god, is it your defender? <gasps> what? Uh oh. Don't do it, Andy. Oh my god. We've won a squad builder showdown! Four minutes of extra time, by the way. Four! <laughs> Get me out. Get me out of it. <laughs> what an absolute robbery of a game. I'm actually so triggered. Okay, so the first discard is going to be CDM. And the second discard for my goal in the fifth minute of two minutes of stoppage time. Striker. That's Kante and Lucas Mora, mate. Okay, a few hundred K. Not bad, not bad. Um, oh, mate, honestly, I can't. I'm actually so pissed off, Andy. You have no idea. <laughs> you have no idea how much it's... I'm struggling to get my words out right now. I can't believe that. Oh, that is funny. Today was not the day, man. Today was not the day. I cannot believe it. Absolutely heartbroken. Devastated. Really, really bad. Um, but yeah, fair play. You've got the dub, and they have gone into an 80-plus SBC. It's like when a Premier League club plays a League 2 club in pre-season to get their confidence up. I'm back, baby! See you next time.